Now we're going to talk about Muchawi or Striger or witch weed. However you call it, it is a weed, a parasite that invades fields. It's actually considered the number one pest threat to food security across the African continent. Uh, we were hearing uh, from a scientist not long ago who says that the plant can scupper ruin as much as 80% of staple crops like millet and sorghum and so on. But now scientists have come up with a new way of controlling the weed using a naturally occurring fungus that doesn't kill the crop but does kill the weed could have an amazing effect uh, for 40 million smallholder farmers who are affected across the continent. Let's uh, cross to Kenya now and speak to one from uh, Bungoma County. Uh, Marigoretti Chitira is on the line. A very good morning from us in London. Tell us about... Morning. Hello. Tell us how much of a problem is Muchawi or Striger on your farm? What does it do to you? Muchawi has a very bad weed on my farm. It destroys almost 80% of my farm produce. And what do you grow, Marigoretti? I grow maize. Sometimes, um, sometimes maize and um, <laughs> maize and some grass. And have you been using this product? Have you been part of the trial, this uh, Kichawi Kill? Uh, tell us what effect it's had. Yeah. In fact, I met the people from Toothpick Company back in the year 2017 when I met Amos and I've been trials on my farm, which are very active. And what effect has it had on the farm using this new treatment? It's very effective because I moved from, from one egg to harvest only one bag. Now I'm harvesting around nine bags after using the kichawi kill. Oh, from how much to how much? Tell us those, those figures again. From one bag to 19 bags. You're joking. Just because of getting rid... Uh, of getting rid of Machawi and using this this toothpick stuff. After I started using toothpick stuff, I, I I'm, I'm I'm able to harvest nineteen bucks from one acre. But that is. But before that, I only used. To... That's a massive difference. How how easy is it to use? It is easy to use because it's just in it's inoculated in in cooked rice. Then you apply it on the farm before you put your before you put your fertilizer and the seed. So, uh, what kind of? It's easy, easy to use. What kind of a difference has it made financially for you? It sounds an incredible difference. It brought a lot of improvement on my financial my financial status because I'm getting higher yield where I use some of the food some. Some as, as food, and also the the excess yield I have to sell out to other people. Wow. Well, listen, thank for you food. so much for, so mm. much for talking to us. We get a fantastic impression of where you are, with birds singing in the background as well. That's Bungoma County you can hear in the background behind Marigoretti Chichira. Uh, Marigoretti is one of the uh, maize farmers. I mean, 85% of maize farmers are women in Kenya, and maize is one of the crops that's incredibly badly affected uh, by uh, Striger. And uh, this amazing thing, this invention, is basically a naturally occurring fungus. They put it on toothpicks. They put the toothpicks in the rice. The rice becomes affected by the fungus. They plant the rice with the maize. And bingo, she gets 19 bags of it. Absolutely amazing.